Good day! My name is Justin B. Sagaino from BSA 3 and I am here with my student. Hello everyone! I'm Janice B. Sagaino. And we are here to discuss our lesson for today. Our lesson for today is about correcting knowledge on sound symbol correspondence. It is the ability to listen to sounds in words and then write down letters for those sounds. Now, this lesson focuses on vowels. Do you know what vowels are? Yes, ma'am. Vowels are A, A, E, O, U. Yes, that is correct. Vowels are A, A, E, O, U or A, E, I, O, U. Vowels can have variations in terms of pronunciation. And with that, we will be tackling some rules or principles in pronouncing words with vowels. Okay? Okay, mom. First, here are some words. Can you please read it? P, she, so, bro, blue. Thank you. These words are pronounced as B, she, so, bro, and flu. And that is because rule number one states that in words containing a single vowel letter at the end of the word, the vowel letter usually has the long vowel sounds. In our example, we have the word B. We, we don't say it as B using the short um, pronunciation or short variation. We say it as B, making E sound as the long E. Can you give examples using our rule number one? Mom, me, we, go, no, to, do. Yes, that is correct. For example, you said the word do. Okay? We pronounce this as do with the double O. Like this. We don't say it as do with the short letter O. Instead, in accordance to our rule number one, we say do as do. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Very good. So moving on to our second rule, it states that single vowel at end of a syllable may have either the long or short vowel sound, which has the same effect with our first rule. So that is um, our first two rules. Next, we have this set of words. Can you please try and read these words? Lad, sad, bad, rat, cat, mad, hit. Well, these words are pronounced as lad, sad, bat, rat, cat, mug, and heat. And that is because in rule number three, single vowel in a syllable has the short vowel sound if it is not followed by R, W, or L, and as long as it is not the last letter. So, we don't say lad or lead. We say lad. We don't say heat. We say hit. Following our rule number three. Can you give examples using our third rule? Mom. Hat. Mat. Mob. Dog. Correct. We pronounce words like this using the short vowel sound. For example, in dog, we don't say dog because that is the long variation. Instead, we say dog using the short um, sound of o, oh, dog. Understand? Yes, mom. So, this pattern is called a closed syllable because the consonant closes in the short vowel sounds. Now, for our fourth rule, we have these words. Can you please read these words? Driver, eraser, 
storm. Very good. So, rule number four states that a vowel followed by R usually have a sound that is neither long nor short. For example, in the word eraser, we say eraser because letter E is followed by a letter R. And in that sense, in accordance to rule number four, we neither pronounce letter E as short sound or as long sound. Instead, we create a unique variation of sound. We don't say eraser with a long E or eraser with a long uh, with a short E. We say eraser instead. Same goes with driver and storm. With that, can you give some example using our fourth rule? Mom, alarm teacher. Very nice. Now, let us proceed with our rule number five. Rule five deals mainly with letter Y. Yes, Y is considered as a vowel if number one, the, the word has no other vowel, for example, Jim, or the letter is at the end of a syllable or a word, or if the letter is in the middle of a syllable, like in system. So here is our first set of words for rule number five. Can you please read it? Yak, yak, yellow. Yes, that is correct. In this one, rule five says that Y at the beginning of a word has the Y consonant sound, as in yat, yak, and yellow. We have another set of words. Can you please try to read these words? Fly, sky, shy, why, cry. Thank you. So, the second part of our rule number five states that Y at the end of a single syllable word, when preceded by a consonant, usually has the long I sound, as in I, in fly, sky, shy, Y, and cry. Here is another word, um, um, another set of words for our rule number five. Can you please read it? Memory, agony, family, 70. Okay, lastly, on rule number five, we have Y at the end of a multisyllabic words or words with multiple syllables when preceded by a consonant usually has the long E sound, like in memory, agony, family, and 70. Young and yes. In part two, dry and buy. In part three, energy and history. That is correct. So let us review the rule number five. So why at the beginning of a word is pronounced as the consonant Y, E, young and yes. In part two, uh, why at the end of a single syllable word is pronounced as I or the long I as in dry and by. Part 3, if the Y is at the end of a multisyllabic word, it is pronounced as the long E as in energy and history. And that is it for our rule number five. Moving to rule number six, we have words ending with a vowel consonant silent E. The E is silent and the first vowel may be either long or short. Here are some examples. Can you please try and read these words? Stone, bone, hide, side, mate, stay, lay. Very good. That is correct because in rule number six, it is said that words ending with vowel consonant silent E, such as these words, usually E is pronounced silently. So, silently. And the first 
vowel is usually pronounced as the short, using the short variation of sounds. For example, in stone, we say stone as in O. Oh. We do not say stoon. Just like in hide, side, bone, mate, state, and lay. A correction in rule number six, as, six, as I've said a while ago, um, the E is silent and the first vowel may either be long or short. So, with the given examples, stone, bone, hide, side, mate, state, late, E is still silent, while the first vowel can either be long or short. For example, in stone, it's the short O. In mate, it's the long A. Can you think of examples with silent E as per rule number six? Yes, ma'am. Kai, pain, lane, and same. Very good, Janice. You are getting it. Here, I have another set of words. Can you please try and read this? Bean, meat, boat, coat, bean, real. Thank you so much. This word corresponds with our rule number seven, wherein AJ, AY, EA, EE, and OA are found together. The first vowel is usually long and the second is usually silent. So in our example, we have been. As per rule number seven, the first vowel is usually pronounced long. So it's E, been. And the second syllable, the second vowel is pronounced silently. We don't say be an or be an, we say been because the second vowel is silent while the first vowel is pronounced using the long variation. Mom, seal, lead, say, go. Good. Now, four more rules to go. Now, Rule 8 states that vowel pair OW may have either the sound heard in cow as in ow or the sound heard in crow as in o. So we only have two choices, cow or crow with the sound ow and o. For example, we have the word bow as in cow and we also have the word low as in crow cow bow ow crow low o can you give words using our rule number eight yes ma'am now as in O, O, slow as in O. So always remember that in the combination of the letter O and W, we only have two choices. The pronunciation using the sound of OW and the sound of O, as in NOW, OW, slow, O, as in the COW, in ow and the crow in o. Moving on to rule number nine, we have these words. Can you please try and read these words? Coin, cut, sock, straw. Thank you. These words have diphthongs, a sound formed by the combination of two vowels in a single syllable in which the sound begins as one vowel and moves toward another. Rule 9 says that AU, AW, OU, OI, and OY, when found together, they usually blend to form a diphthong.
Can you give me some examples? Mom, loud and pause. That is correct. The word loud has O-U and the word pause has A-U. Thank you, Jennings. Second to the last, we have rule 10, which states that the double O sound is either long as in moon or short as in book. Can you give me some example? One for the short double O and one for the long double O. Yes, ma'am. For short, cook. For long, moon. Very good! Now, we finally arrived to our last rule, Rule 11. Rule 11 states that if A is the only vowel in a syllable and is followed by L or W, when the, then the A is usually neither long nor short. So we have two examples. The first one, we have the word ball. The A in ball is neither pronounced as short neither lo nor long A. It's not pronounced as ball or bale. It's pronounced as ball. Same goes for the word law. It's not pronounced as lau, neither leu. It's pronounced as law. Just like in rule number four, that the vowels are neither long nor short. Instead, it creates a unique variation of sound. Can you give me examples using our final rule? Sure, ma'am. Ro and to. Yes, that is correct. We don't say rau or reu. We say ro. And we don't say tal or tail. We pronounce this as tol. Because in rule number 11, if a A is followed by an L or a W, the A is neither pronounced as long nor short. And that concludes our 11 rule for our lesson in correcting knowledge on sound symbol correspondence. I hope you learned something from our discussion. From now on, observe your vowels. Thank you for listening and have a great day. Goodbye! Goodbye and thank you, Mom!